Hi guys, and uh, welcome to Bonacerius. There's Eric, Eric Bernath. He's uh, he's the guy I met up with in Bonacerius. I also met him on the Star Rat. I also met him on the Panama Panama, Panama border. Um, and uh, yeah, he's currently in Switzerland. He went to Africa. He's basically doing the whole world. Uh, pretty amazing. Um, his bike's been pretty. His bike's been pretty. Uh, um, He's got a V-Strom, I'm pretty sure, it's a Suzuki V-Strom. Um, his bike's been really good. He hasn't missed a beat, I don't think. He's a relatively hit, uh, new rider, like he's, he quit his job and just said, bugger it, I'm going around the world. He jumped on a bike and away he went. That is a really, really good photographer too. Um, a really nice guy. Um, so we basically just went out for a basically a stroll around um, around Buenos Aires and uh, and out of all these different places and just we picked about seven or six or seven waypoints along the way to to travel to and basically fart around, get some videos and photos and and have some lunch. And had a little bit of shopping to do as well. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put his link on the blog post for his Instagram. It's well worth following because he's uh, he really takes the time to take absolutely beautiful photos. There's a lot of these sort of areas throughout uh, Buenos Aires, um, like little squares where you can have lunch and, and all that sort of stuff. It's very pretty. I'm not sure if I'm going the wrong way down this road, but anyway. Um, yeah, so this this was the. Uh, the second or third day I was there in Buenos Aires. We had one more day where we were going to uh, we, we were going to um, go see the people that, that handle the the bike uh, export uh, on the aeroplanes on the plane. Um, if you have the money to do it, it's best to do it by aeroplane. Otherwise, if you do it by boat or cargo ship, it probably save you maybe a thousand dollars. Um, and but at the same time, uh, you're going to be up for a world of pain in relation to uh, paperwork and stuff like that. But I mean, you could do it. You probably save yourself seven, eight hundred dollars uh, by doing it that way. You'll also have to wait four to six weeks for you to get your bike, to get your bike. It just depends on your own situation. Um, it's me riding, so I think uh, this is with the GoPro on uh, Eric's bike. Just looking around at different places. We went along here and uh, did a little photo of As you can see, there's not a lot of stabilisation on, uh, on, on the GoPro. <laughs> the best thing to do is to get a um, to get a mount, uh, a shock mount, uh, to, to, uh, to mount it. There's still quite a few buildings also with uh, with artwork on it, especially in the area we were staying. This is the area uh, we, were, we were staying in. Um, just planning where we we're going to go. It's a pretty good city to explore, actually. Uh, even on a motorbike, there's there's a lot of places you can go. The traffic, out, you know, the city's the traffic's pretty bad in the actual city, but outside, once you get outside of the main city centre, you know, the traffic's not too bad. And if you can avoid the highways, I would suggest you do that. Is it not plane landing? Pretty good shot. So there's two airports. This is the one closest to the city. This is not where you take your, your um, bike for cargo. There's a, all the, the oceans out there to the left. It's, you know, the beaches in Buenos Aires aren't that, aren't that great. Yeah, as I said in the previous video, you've got to go south or north into Uruguay to get some of the nice beaches. Yeah, there's different ways. I mean, there's so many different devices now. If I had to choose 
the cameras that I'll use going forward it'll probably be the, the, the TG tracker just because of the uh, GPS um, the GPS and I like the wide angle view it gives uh, the GoPros are still probably the best camera but I just don't like the company anymore I just can't be bothered with them Just, uh, I mean, I, I remember once I sent an inquiry to their website asking about the Hero 4, um, whether I had the, the top version. If I bought this one now, is there any new ones coming? And they said no. A week later, there was a new version. You know, um, like a, this was this was a, a, a Hero 4 Black they brought out. Um, they brought out a special edition one just after I purchased the other one, and I was just really cheesed off with it. It was back when they didn't have to, they were a private company and they didn't have to make the announcements. Ever since they became public and uh, they've got to announce their schedule, they're always trying to say something that's great that's happening soon and stuff like that, just so they can keep their share price, well, even though it's plummeted, keep their share price at a reasonable level. And they don't, they've never shown any, you know, they've been haphazard since the, the GoPro 3, I think they've been pretty haphazard. They're still the best camera. Doubting that, but there used to be such a big gap, but now that gap has just closed so much. And I hope Olympus stick with their their TG Tracker uh, camera. I really do, you know, because it's a really good camera, and it's good in. It, this is the TG Tracker camera here. Um, it's not great in low light, but neither is the uh, on standard settings. Neither is the uh, is the GoPro. Um, see the tracker there off to the right so you can see on my backpack I've got these um, these packs on the left the red one and the right the white one the red ones of gas and the white ones that are water um, and you'll see my tire at the back there that's the the uh, the hide now con uh, TK 60s scouts and you can see right down the middle there's just that big smooth line and I just and there's no tread in it, right in the guts of it, which is for the really wide tire like I've got, the widest so size, and it just, it just, uh, it's just slippy, you know. There's no, pretty much zero traction. Um, in in uh, deeper stuff, it's not so bad, but when it's like, like you get a hard surface and then you get a slippery top, like a bit of clay on the top that's slippery. It just goes everywhere. It is crazy how much it actually slips, uh, how much it slides around. And because it's pretty much flat and bald, you don't get that, you don't get, the, I mean, the motorbike's trying to grip all the time if you've got the off-road traction control um, and uh, and all the settings correct. Um, so when you, you, but the thing about it is it just wants to slide all the time. It never want, It never feels like it's gonna, you know, sometimes, sometimes you get that feeling as soon as it slides, bang, it just kicks in and it's the tire grips and it's back. But just when it's really slippery, it, you know, at one stage there on the Ecuador border, I slid for 50 meters. You know, no braking. I wasn't braking. It just wasn't gripping. It was just uh, I had the revs. I was in I was in third gear. The revs weren't high, and it just slid. Slid. You know, the front tire's got a uh, got good grip. Um, but I mean, you don't want to be pushing down heavy on your front tire, uh, going through the slippery stuff, you know, because um, it'll just wash out on you. But uh, yeah, so that's that for the tires. But anyway, we spent we spent uh, you know probably half a day riding around um, uh, Buenos Aires, had a couple of stop ops, did a little bit of shopping. I think Eric was looking for something. I can't remember what. It was pretty hard actually to get shopping. There wasn't was it really that much around. Um, it's fairly spread out. I'm sure there's some big shopping centre somewhere, but we wanted to, we ended up going to this shopping centre in the middle of the city. But again, it was pretty, it was pretty average. Um, but it was a good day, right? It was great to catch up with Eric and hang out with him for a couple of days, have a few beers. Um, but we, we both had stuff to organise, so, you know, uh, the next video is going to be just a little short video on, on us and the bikes and getting the bikes organised. Um, and then the final video will be uh, of me arriving back in Miami and picking up the bike. Um, 
it's the summer of the night. Eric and I went for a walk and uh, caught, caught one of the trains and subway. Went for, for a beer and caught up with a couple of other people. I can't remember the other guys right as home. I should have, should have written down that we met for the bike. But anyway, questions or comments below, guys. Thank you.